that's a three lane. Exit, which is a very popular exit. I'm speeding? Or I'm going too slow. <laughs> it gives me a it gives me a notification I'm going too slow. On the right, did you say? Yes. Okay. Historic Park Marina Park. Okay. Yeah, that lake, I think I want to walk to it, try to fly the drone around it somewhere. So I guess I won't be in a hurry to get over to the library so much. guessing that there's probably oh my god some some no overnight parkings right yep there it is see that's what made me a little concerned is they they might have enforced there's an RV they probably parked overnight okay uh, just I don't know everybody's so spread out in such a small parking lot yeah, that's the thing too. It looked like such a small parking lot on the map. All right.
If I wasn't so nervous about that battery life, I would just fly for hours checking out new places with that drone. That would be so fun. But I get so nervous about the time limits. I decided to walk a little bit closer to the water going this way. It's not too far down. All right, off the paved trail a little bit here and getting closer to the lake. I don't think I'll get close enough because um, there's going to be, yeah, like a lot of wet soil. That could be a problem. I don't experience any of the tide issues like uh, along the coast. It's a different landscape. All right, it looks like I was wrong. I can walk right up to the water. Here it's a lot of evaporation receding. So I walked across a lot of part of the land where the water would extend normally during its high tide, whenever that would be. It gets up to this point consistently to allow this grass to continue growing doesn't overflow maybe it overflows it but every but maybe not too often so because the water is so low that's why we're seeing more islands actually some of these islands do have vegetation though so they probably are uh, exposed year-round <clears throat> So I'm hearing Walmart employees speak like three different languages here. The Africans got their own language. The Mexicans got their own language. Oh my goodness. It's, uh, it's very multicultural, very confusing to me. I don't know what they're talking about. All right, I really don't see myself using this practice hats that I made. Uh, I think I'm gonna tear it apart. So I'm gonna try to tear it apart and uh, reuse that thread. Cause it's really not, it's really not that useful. I already got a hat. All right, I think I want to launch the drone right in this little spot here, not far from the, well, not far from the library or the hospital. All right, I wonder if in the winter time, it's best to turn to bitter types of foods uh, particularly the the uh, the the seed the seeds of the celery and and uh, and turmeric. Okay, yeah, got them right here. When you can't uh, ferment as well because the fermentation slows down, and uh, in the winter time, so the sourness you're you're not gonna have as much access to sour foods. Uh, in the winter as you do in the summertime, so maybe turning to bitter might help. Inside the Breckenridge Station. Free books. It's pretty nice in here. All right, so I took uh, gray twice, I think, gray north and gray south. And uh, they went the same way. I'm taking this purple now. It's a little bit different setup. Twin vision. Hmm. It's, uh, it looks like it's a different route. So it's uh, I took four buses around Breckenridge, and I gotta say. I still have not found a good spot to park yet. I don't think there is any. They have it locked down. Over here, it's pay parking all day and then no parking at all. 2 a.m. to 6 a.m.
Yeah, I gotta say, there's a lot of attractive looking people here who keep in good shape. They really uh, seem to have a priority of fitness over a lot compared to m many other cities, but it's also a well-funded city too.